hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to start a new subject uh, which is television engineering okay so we will discuss uh, about it so like any other topic which we have covered any other subject first we will discuss the basic introductory concepts and then we will go into the uh, other advanced uh, the intermediate and advanced concepts so television engineering so it is one of the most uh, important uh, fields of uh, electronics electrical and electronics engineering mainly electronics engineering be it communication instrumentation telecommunication any branch or field of engineering they have this as a subject it is very important so first we will start with the basic uh, definition of what is a television so the word television it actually consists of two words tele and vision which essentially means being able to see at distance okay so the very first you know demonstration of a working model of uh, television was achieved by scientist j l byrd uh, and he accomplished it using rotating mechanical scanning disk okay so we'll discuss about that uh, in a separate video uh, i'm not going deep into what rotating mechanical scanning disks and all of that so the first working you know demonstration of television was given by j l byrd so then after that the technology of cathode ray tube crt came and uh, electromagnetic scanning of camera and various picture tubes camera tubes came and which was essentially the period of monochrome black and white television color television came much later and various tv standards were developed at that time using uh, such as ntsc pal ccam i'm not going into the full form right now we will discuss them uh, later on so these are just the tv standards which uh, determine how many scanning lines there are what is the uh, frequency transmission amplitude all of those things uh, are decided so as per the various tv standards which are, which were used in various countries okay then came the modern tv tele uh, technologies during the 90s uh, such as the plasma display uh, dlp digital light processing liquid crystal display lcd led light emitting diodes and uh, now we are in the age of uh, you know smart tvs uh, high definition uh, and all of that various resolutions have also come into play so this transition from the first working demonstration to this smart tv age so all this is uh, very important from the point of view of uh, electrical and electronics engineering so all of this will be uh very important but we will start with monochrome okay black and white uh, television then we'll go to color television and then we will discuss about all of these new age technologies because we have to always start from the basics if we directly start from uh, all these uh, new technologies then it will be a little bit confusing so we have to start from the abc and then proceed up to xyz okay so the various uh, fundamentals various concepts that will cover in this subject it will essentially be related to the basic concepts related to image video light and sound the two important parts or elements of television are sound and the video okay so we have to discuss some basic concepts related to image and video and sound related to television engineering 
then the basic elements of a television system which will be the transmitter and receiver the various transducers that are used in television for uh, audio video the camera the picture tubes all of that then uh, the various uh, broadcast systems like i said transmitting and receiving uh, stations and all the associated circuitry and the advanced tv systems and technologies so it is actually a combination of electrical engineering instrumentation as transducers have come into play and communication systems so all of these technologies have a role in television engineering so we'll uh, discuss them so we will start with the basic concepts related to tv transmission and reception will not go into the detail but just to give you an idea of what actually happens in terms of block diagram uh, we will discuss each block in short so that you have an overall idea of what actually happens in television engineering the transmission and reception okay so let us do that okay so now we will uh, discuss some basic concepts related to the transmission and reception in television so first we'll divide it into two parts first we'll discuss about tv transmitter in short and then about tv receiver okay so as i said the two important parts in a television are the video and audio okay and these two are important if we leave one out of these two it will be very uh, you know it will not uh, the whole essence of television will get lost okay just imagine you have the video the video going around but you don't have any sound and and the other way there is only sound but no picture no image so these two are very important and uh, it involves the basic transmission and reception involves the transmission of the video and the audio for uh, the sound okay transmission the frequency modulation technique is used and for image or the video the amplitude modulation technique is used and uh, we have discussed about the basic concepts related to amplitude and frequency modulation in the communication system section you can check those videos in that playlist okay so here we are not going into detail we'll just simply discuss what are the various blocks involved the various uh, systems involved and how it happens because if we go into the detail it will take a lot of time actually each of these uh, you know blocks is a separate chapter in itself okay so first the basic block diagram of a tv transmitter so here the whole block diagram can be divided into two parts one section for audio or sound and one for video this top section this is for sound or audio okay the microphone audio amplifier and the frequency modulation transmitter or modulator this part this portion consisting of the tv camera the scanning and the synchronizing circuit the video amplifier and the amplitude modulation transmitter that is for the video the power supply unit is common to all the blocks it supplies the necessary power okay so we'll discuss it in two sections so first let us consider the video section okay this bottom section so the first component here is the tv camera so here the tv camera acts as a transducer okay it acts as a transducer and its function is to convert whatever image there is into electrical signals and this happens by the process of scanning now what scanning essentially is 
that the optical image which is formed on a photosensitive plate photosensitive plate means it is coated with some light sensitive material which are sensitive to optical radiations so an image is formed and that image is broken down into very small picture elements called as pixels okay by an electron beam okay we will discuss the scanning in a separate video okay just now understand the whole optical image which is formed on a plate photosensitive plate is broken down into small picture elements okay so that is called as scanning so the tv camera converts that optical image into electrical signals by the process of scanning the pixels picture elements then comes the video amplifier the video amplifier amplifies these signals the electrical equivalent pixels okay of the optical image those are amplified by the video amplifier next is the am transmitter it is actually a modulator so this modulator or this transmitter it amplitude modulates a carrier a carrier signal okay so this carrier signal it is generated by a crystal oscillator okay which is part of this block okay it is included in this am transmitter block i did not include uh, draw the crystal oscillator and the balance modulator because uh, otherwise the diagram would have been very complicated so the am transmitter it consists of a crystal oscillator which generates a required carrier signal the basic concept of modulation we know the carrier signal characteristics amplitude frequency phase one of the characteristics are change with respect to the message signal so here the message signal is the video signal the amplified video signal the output of the video amplifier that is the message signal the carrier signal is generated by a crystal oscillator and that is modulated with respect to the amplitude okay because it is amplitude modulation taking place and that happens in the am transmitter okay now the video section work is finished so the scanning and synchronizing circuit it helps in the scanning of the optical image that this block so we have the amplitude modulated video signal this is accomplished the work of the video section is finished now is the audio section okay the stop section so here also we have another transducer microphone which converts our voice okay the speech or music whatever it is there into electrical signals okay the microphone does that then those converted electrical signals are amplified by the audio amplifier <coughs> sorry <coughs> by the audio amplifier then it is fed to the fm transmitter or modulator so the amplified audio signal acts as the message signal the fm transmitter takes the amplified audio signal which acts as the message or modulating signal and there it also consists of a crystal oscillator and a varactor modulator the crystal oscillator generates the required carrier high frequency carrier signal and some of the frequency is altered with respect to the amplified audio signal okay using the varactor modulator the variable capacitor modulator so this gives us the frequency modulated sound signal or audio signal in the starting we discussed that the audio or sound is frequency modulated video image is amplitude modulated so now we have the two frequency model two modulated signals the frequency modulated sound and the amplitude modulated video <coughs> so these two are given to the combining network which combines these two signals but the important thing is to isolate them by a certain gap frequency range so that there is no interference then it is given to the 
transmitting antenna which converts these two modulated carriers into electromagnetic signals electromagnetic waves and uh, transmits it into the space okay so this is the basic uh, process of transmission in tv the two important elements audio and video audio gets uh, frequency modulated video gets amplitude modulated and this is the job of these two sections the audio section at the top here and the video section and the bottom okay so this is the basic concepts related to tv transmission okay so we have discussed about uh, the tv transmitter uh, the block diagram and uh, all the necessary concepts related to the transmission of both the audio and the video signal so here we will discuss about the tv receiver again it will follow the same pattern we will discuss it in terms of the block diagram and we will discuss each block in short so we already know that uh, the two important components in television are the video and the audio the audio or the sound it gets frequency modulated and the video the image it gets amplitude modulated uh, the amplitude modulation techniques are used now the signal at the transmitter side is transmitted by converting both the modulated carriers the amplitude modulated uh, video signal and the frequency modulated sound signal using the transmitting antenna so at the receiving station at the receiving side it will have a circuitry like this with these blocks in it so it will have first the receiving antenna okay the receiving antenna will actually receive both the modulated radio frequency carriers high frequency carriers the amplitude modulated video and the frequency modulated audio its process is to capture the electromagnetic energy which is there in space the receiving antenna sends it to the channel selector or the tuner okay the channel selector the channel selector block now what is the function of the channel selector is to tune the station to the desired frequency we know we change when we uh, change to a particular channel by pressing a certain number on the remote we are actually tuning to the desired frequency in the old days where we would we have a tuner or a knob on the tv which we used to rotate that is also it, it performed the same task we were actually changing the frequency to the desired station each station each channel it has a particular frequency allotted to it frequency range so we are changing it to that particular frequency that is accomplished by the channel selector okay so it is a tuned circuit which has a particular resonant frequency and it selects the desired tv station frequency okay so after the channel selector we have the rf amplifier those channel selector selects the particular frequency station and the frequency modulated or the amplitude modulated rf carriers the high frequency carriers of that desired tv station are then given to the radio frequency amplifier okay both the amplitude modulated and frequency modulated the channel selector you know selects these two carriers when we when we change to a particular tv station frequency so the modulated high frequency carriers of those station frequency are then given to the rf amplifier when we change to a particular station by the channel selector now this radio frequency amplifier or the rf amplifier amplifies the modulated amplitude modulated uh, video and the frequency modulated sound carrier signals okay of a particular 
desired TV station. Ne next is the actually the next component is the mixer. But before mixer, we will have to discuss this block, which is the local oscillator. So what the local oscillator does, this mixer, it has two inputs. One is from the local oscillator. Another one is from the radio frequency amplifier, which is the amplified carriers. So the mixer actually combines these two frequencies. The local oscillator, it produces certain radio frequency oscillations and uh, this modulated uh, signals, the carrier signals are also given to the mixer. So it produces oscillations or a signal which has intermediate frequency, frequency lying in between the RF frequency from the amplifier and the local oscillator, something in between. That's why it is called as intermediate frequency, IF, IF signals, intermediate frequency signals lying in between the frequency of signal from the local oscillator and that from the radio frequency amplifier. So the output of the mixer are intermediate frequency signals. Signals having frequencies in between this output of the local oscillator and that from the RF amplifier. Those signals are amplified, the intermediate frequency signals are amplified by the IF amplifier. Okay, The IF amplifiers, they amplify the output of the mixer. That is simple. Then is the video detector. Now the next task is to separate the video and the audio. Actually, we have the both the carriers sent, you know, at a time. So we have to extract the video and the audio and their processing will happen separately. So this video detector block, it separates the video signal from the intermediate frequency signal. Okay the amplified intermediate frequency signal that is done with the help of a diode detector and a capacitor filter. We will discuss its working principle in a separate video. As I said, we have to discuss it in short to give you the basic idea because if we go into the detail analysis of each and every block, it will take a lot of time because each and every block is a separate chapter in itself, as I said. So now you just understand that the video detector, it extracts the video signal, the amplified video signal or the <coughs> amplitude modulated video signal from the carrier, the composite carrier. Next, uh, the video detector is done. Next comes the, uh, let us go to the uh, audio section. Now we can divide it into two sections. As the video and audio signals are separated, we can divide it into two sections. The top is the audio section. The bottom is the video section. After video detector, the audio and video signals have been separated. So they go two separate ways. Audio goes to the top, video goes to the down because their processing happens separately. So first the audio signal, the audio processing or the audio section. So the audio detector, it extracts the audio signal, the frequency modulated sound signal using a frequency discriminator and an audio detector circuit. That extracted signal is amplified be uh, by the audio amplifier because it has traveled a lot of distance in space. So naturally it will undergo some loss of amplitude. So that is amplified using the audio amplifier and that amplified audio signal is given to the loudspeaker again which acts as a transducer which converts the electrical signal it is all of these things are actually voltage or current signals the electrical signals when it is given to the loudspeaker it converts the electrical equivalent of the sound signals into original mechanical or the vibrations which gives us the feel of the sound the music the whatever we are listening it produces the sensation of hearing so the loudspeaker again acts as a transducer which converts electrical signals into equivalent mechanical vibrations which gives us the feel of sound actual audio next the video section at the bottom <coughs> the separated amplitude modulated video signal is given to this video amplifier which performs the same task as the audio amplifier it amplifies the video signal Okay, then 
the electrical equivalent video signals are given to the picture tube which convert this electrical signal video signal into the actual image okay the picture elements pixels are recombined to form the entire image okay so this is done also in sync with this synchronizing and detection circuit the at the transmitter side scanning happens where the whole image is broken down into pixels small picture elements at the receiver side using the synchronization and detector circuit the whole pixels are organized combined together to form the image which is given to the picture tube which gives us the original image or the video okay so this is the <coughs> transmit uh, the tv receiver operation okay so again the whole operation revolves around the two important parts the audio and the video and all of these things are done for the extraction of the original audio and video signal from the uh, modulated carrier signal high frequency carrier signal okay so this is just a basic explanation of uh, what is each of these blocks if we go into detail they have a lot of other concepts associated with it which we'll discuss but now to give you a basic idea of tv transmission and reception i uh, discussed uh, all of these basic concepts so that later when we discuss a particular block or a particular thing you have a good idea basic understanding of actually what happens okay now the uh, i forgot the power supply the power supply uh, provides the necessary uh, voltage to all of these blocks it is actually a regulated power supply unit which has a voltage regulator and a rectifier circuit so this is all about tv receiver so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics communication and instrumentation engineering have a great day thank you very much